Welcome to Museum Kelantan. Hi, I'm Majang. Today, I would like to bring you to the Museum Negeri Kelantan. Let's go! Do you know that Museum Negeri is the place to keep all the history and Kaltanese culture to make sure that our new generation know and can see what happened before? Do you know we have several section here? Come, I will bring you there. This section will illustrate some of the historic caves in Kelantan, for example Gua Cha. Gua Cha is a place that being village once in the Neolithic era 9000 to 8000 years ago. In fact, actually Gua Cha is a rock shelter located in Ulu Kelantan. Archaeological studies have uncovered human skeletons along with pottery and hunting utensils. Daikir Bharat is a traditional music in Kelantan culture. Typically, Daikir Bharat is performed by a group, in one group has 10 to 15 member. Daikir Bharat's music will be supported by a percussion instrument. The other member group will be a dancer with a similar movement to Ndang and the actions of the hand clapping. Wayang Kulit is a form of traditional theater that uses principles light and shadow. The shadows of the leather figurines are composed from various methodological and imaginary characters run by a mastermind. Puppet shows are often accompanied by a beat band or gamelan and also wind instruments, siranai, or stringed instruments, rebob. Four types of puppets in all. 1. Wayang Kulit Kalantan 2. Wayang Kulit Meleu 3 Wayang Kulit Gudak 4 Wayang Kulit Purwe In each type of movie, the storytelling is still taught to the community. Behavior and character between good and evil are clearly described by the mastermind. To be a mastermind, he should be proficient in religious law and customs. The depiction of the bad-tempered statues on the left and the good-natured statues on the right is meant to separate between good and evil. Kelantan are famous with Wow Bulan. Wow Bulan is an intricately designed Malaysian moon kite, normally with floral motifs, that is traditionally flown in the Malaysian state of Kelantan. It is one of Malaysia's national symbols, some others being the hibiscus. There are many types of Wow in Malaysia, each with its own specialty. Wow Cucking, Cat Kite, and Wow Merak, Peacock Kite, are some of the variants. Musical instruments are the main equipment that accompanies Wayang Kulit shows. In Wayang Kulit Kelantan, as well as Wayang Gudak, the musical instruments that accompany. 
the performance are more or less the same between the two types of Wayang Kulit. Musical instruments play an important role in bringing Wayang Kulit to life and making it an interesting performance. Music also plays a role. One is a tool to announce the beginning of Wayang Kulit and also to attract the audience. Two to mark scenes and scenes. Three to set the mood of every single scene. Four accompany the songs sung by the mastermind. Five musical instruments used in Wayang Kulit performances. One grain. One a pair of gudambak. Two a pair of gongs. Three a pair of rattles. Four a flute. Among the written history, Silat or Penchak Silat is a martial art for the Malays or the archipelago practiced centuries ago. Silat is actually a general noun used to refer to martial arts in Southeast Asia. It can be said that in Malaysia it is called martial arts. In Sumatra Silat is known as Silak and in Java and Indonesia it is generally more popular as Penchak Silat. The Chinese translation for Silat is Kun Tao. Silat spread throughout the Malay archipelago since the 7th century AD, but its origin is still uncertain. Although, martial arts have been recognized as indigenous Malays. The Malays who have settled in the coastal towns of Sumatra and the Malay Peninsula, from Asa in the north to Kelantan, Johair and Riau Islands in the south, is a person who practices martial arts. Traditional games are different in each state and place. In Kelantan we can see traditional games such as Kankok, Gassing, and Batasiremban. Kankok is a game made of wood that is made of 16 holes the size of a handful. In Kelantan, Kankok is beautifully carved with various types of motifs. While, the tops found in Kelantan are Uri and Ging Panka tops which are made from tin metal and merba wood. So, which are the section that you like the most? Leave your answer at the comment below. A people without the knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without the root. By Marcus Kevry. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, and follow us into other digital platforms. Thanks for watching and bye bye.